Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So I'm going to pull one oracle card for you, one oracle card for your person's energy. Okay, very interesting. Very first card, we have double mission, that's for your energy. And then we have lots of lands, right? Very interesting. So you are showing up in light of being a light worker and you're being told to serve the world by being you. You definitely feel like the connection you share with this individual is a very spiritual connection. I can see that from the way this card has come out. So I feel like for a lot of you, you went through uh, some sort of experience where you were led onto your right path or where you discovered your purpose, you discovered more of who you are. Uh, this seems to be the journey that you were taking for uh, your person's energy, we have soul memories and gifts, you've done this before. I feel like your person feels that what the two of you share with one another could be a past life connection. They see an element of familiarity, they see an element of just knowing. They have an understanding of the situation where uh, they think they know you in a level that other people don't, or on a level that other people don't, right? Okay, let's get some... Tarot cards. So sometimes I feel drawn to shuffle the cards a little bit more than normal. Uh, so I feel like that's just spirit indicating that a certain message has to come through, right? So I feel like in your situation, in your connection with this individual, you have been thinking about, you know, how can you bring more balance into the situation? There are aspects of who you are as a person that loves contributing to this connection, that loves uh, making uh, you know, a difference in this person's world. You are, you know, you're definitely on a journey now. It feels very spiritual in nature. Uh, what's connecting the two of you? I feel like some of you are in the midst of a situation where a lot of people or a lot of situations have been unfolding in your love life and that has made you feel upset. It feels as if Maybe you're seeing other couples having a good time and you're wishing that this could be the same for you and your person. Or perhaps other people are having an opinion of your love life. It feels like for some of you this could be a third party situation where you may feel as if you're being put on the back burner or this individual is not making you a priority. This doesn't have to apply for all of you, uh, but that's definitely what I'm picking up here. Your person's energy is showing up in light of wanting to make an effort, wanting to put something in to the works. It feels like they're trying to utilize their tools and resources. It feels like there's a kind of energy where they're trying to make something happen. And what could that be? It feels like they've been thinking about this. It could be communication for some of you. I feel like this individual is gearing up for something. There's definitely that sort of indication coming forth. Uh, they're coming off as being either wise or perhaps they're looking in your direction 
I'm sort of wondering what happened to Pisces. Where's Pisces, you know? It feels like that kind of energy. And you might be preoccupied with your work, your spirituality, the things you have going on in your life. You might not have been giving this individual much time or attention for some time. You know, you might have been uh, diverted in a different path for some of you. There's a lot of people that have been uh, going through awakenings, discovering who they are, figuring out things during this period of time. Everybody had to make room for that because everybody has grown. You know, uh, some people have become so that um, there's certain things that they won't tolerate that they used to tolerate. There's certain individuals that won't engage with people that they used to engage with uh, in the past. It feels like that kind of energy where a big shift has occurred. So I feel like this person is looking in your direction, thinking to themselves, wow, you are an amazing individual. You might be everything that they had wished for, everything that they had hoped for. I feel like there's an energy of wanting to see room for growth, prosperity, and happiness. I'm not picking up very heavy energies today, uh, which is a good thing. So I feel like this could be some sort of recognition this individual has of you. So this could be someone that you've known for some time or someone that you're going to meet very soon. So it's open-ended. It's not really giving an indication there, but I feel like from your person, uh, they're starting to see you in a different light. Maybe they're starting to recognize certain things that they didn't see before. There's an ending that has occurred here. I feel like someone may have put their foot down or they might have said that they're not going to tolerate third party situations or they're not going to tolerate being rejected or refused anymore. It feels like that kind of energy. In your energy, it's showing up in light of you putting an end to the regret, loss and suffering. The idea of feeling sorrow, the idea of moping over spilled milk, the idea of crying about certain things is just not alluring to you anymore. I feel like you've cried your eyes out to the point where you just don't care to cry anymore. So that is being emphasized by spirit. There's a part of you that is gone, that is never going to come back. I don't feel like for many of you, you know, you're going to go through life thinking to yourself, well, who's going to come next and break my heart or who's going to come next and disappoint me? It's kind of like this energy of which you wouldn't even give these type of individuals the time of day anymore. It's like you've raised your standard, you've raised the bar, you're not that type of individual. You're never going to be that type of individual again. There's things that could have went on for you know, a long, long sort of period of time. And I feel like Spirit is indicating these are things that you won't tolerate, not even for half a day anymore. So these are very big shifts, very big changes that have occurred. Um, some of you are taking your gifts, your talents to the world, and you are shining a light on it. It feels like it's a very powerful sort of gift that you are sharing to the world. And you're no longer, you know, um, caring about... How can you please this person? How can you please that person? How can you be uh, a nicer person in your general day-to-day -day things? Because, you know, this connection that you've dealt with with this individual has shaped you up in a different sort of way where you become resilient, you become more powerful, you become the type of individual that won't stand for anybody's nonsense anymore. And that's a very good thing. That's a very powerful thing. You know, they say Pisces individuals are very soft-hearted, very good people. They're very resilient, very powerful individuals as well. And if they want, they can be as slippery as fish and, and get away from danger whenever they need to. So I feel like you discovered that sort of thing and you're not... Um, the person that you were before and that's a good thing a lot of big changes in what has transpired in the love uh, situation i feel like sometimes if you just take a break from you know these kind of energies new energies come to life new different scenarios come to life it's a very refreshing thing to give yourself that time uh, because um, for me personally when i do tarot readings these are very individualized kind of things uh, you know, um, it's it's things that I put a lot of devotion and energy into. Yeah, so some of the issues that you're dealing with here is indicating to me uh, what's, um, you know, getting in the way right now is that there isn't really that sort of new beginning, new path between both you and this individual concern. The wheel is present, but if you look at the female, she also has a knife in her hand. It feels as if there's an energy which is indicating, you know, 
Uh, things can go either way. The wheel could turn in any sort of direction. But how do you get to that Ten of Cups with this person if that is your intention? I feel like that is something that you are definitely considering in the grand scheme of things and sort of wondering, you know, how would you really steer this boat? How would you really get things going in that direction? What I'm picking up from these cards is that this person sees your value. They know your worth. They have this intention, this desire to do something at this point in time. But I feel like you have become very indifferent to them. I feel like your energy is all about putting an end to people, not being what you want them to be in a given moment, in a given time, because you've had enough. So very interesting to see how this would play up in the grand scheme of things. What I'm gonna look at is what sort of initiative is your person gonna take? What is making them really happy right now? Are they intending on sending messages? What type of messages would they send? Um, I'm also gonna look at this energy of why you know, this new beginning is not really present for the two of you at this moment in time. Is there some hidden elements? Or is there some other factors that are playing a role? Because it feels like your person has sort of, um, you know, turned around and is facing your direction. It's like they were sort of walking off and then they turned around and they were like, you know, this kind of energy where they're sort of looking to see. Where is Pisces? It's that kind of thing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.